Immediately prior to advancing the throttles for takeoff, ensure the cast window is clear. If the runway available is within a thousand feet of the required balance feed length, we suggest a static takeoff procedure. This involves holding the brakes while bringing the throttles to takeoff power, then checking the indicated N1 is equal to the FADEC targeted N1 prior to releasing the brakes. In the case where we have more than a thousand feet above the required balance field length, and in order to save the brakes and help the comfort of the occupants, we may do a rolling takeoff where we apply power without holding the airplane on the brakes. In this case, to protect ourselves from the control issues due to the engine spooling up asymmetrically, it is highly recommended to first bring the power up about halfway, ensuring both engines are advancing power, and then selecting full takeoff power. Once again, once takeoff power is selected, check that the power produced equals the target N1 as calculated in the FADEC window. Next, we ensure the airspeed is alive on the pilot's PFD and then, of course, cross-check it on the co-pilot's PFD. During the takeoff roll, ensure your hand remains on the throttles so the takeoff can be aborted swiftly if any abnormality occurs prior to V1. Call out 70 knots and at V1, place both hands on the yoke and on passing VR, rotate the aircraft attitude to 10 degrees. The rate of rotation should be positive but not overly sudden. After reaching 10 degrees pitch attitude, wait for a positive rate of climb on the VSI. Once we have confirmed a positive rate of climb, select the gear up and return your right hand to the yoke. Next, Confirm you have accelerated through 110 knots and retract the flaps if necessary, once again returning your right hand to the yoke. Maintain your attention on the attitude indicator to maintain the 10 degree attitude as we accelerate in the climb. Also keep attention on the slip skid indicator to ensure the aircraft is coordinated. The initial takeoff climb is a critical phase of flight as we progress from low speed, low altitude to a safer phase of flight. It is important during this phase to keep the workload and distraction low and our attention to aircraft attitude and directional control. On reaching 700 feet AGL, the aircraft should be at approximately 150 knots, give or take 10 knots. Now we select flight level change on the mode control panel, confirming it on the scoreboard, and then turn on the autopilot, also confirming on the scoreboard. Then bring the throttles back to the climb detent. The result should have the autopilot flight control system flying the plane through the climb at an appropriate speed freeing you to manage the departure phase with more capacity. So let's review from the point at which we set takeoff power until the autopilot is turned on. First, check the cast messages that are clear. Then set takeoff power. Check it. And then make sure the airspeed is alive and cross-checked. Call out 70 knots, then V1, rotate. On a positive rate of climb on the VSI, select gear up. Then through 110 knots, select flaps up. Upon reaching 700 feet AGL, select flight level change, then autopilot. And then bring the throttles back to the climb detent.